In this video, we're going to walk through setting up a digicellular router for the first time. This process only takes a few minutes. Here's what you'll need. A digicellular router, an account on Digi Remote Manager, and an active SIM. The box in which the router was shipped contains a welcome card with a QR code providing you with a link to the quick start guide. The box also contains an extra label so that you can scan the label during device registration without needing to turn the router upside down. Very convenient if you've already set up the router in a place that's hard to reach. To begin, install the cellular antennas and insert the SIM card. If you have a SIM that is configured with a custom or private APN, you may need to connect an Ethernet cable from a port that has access to the internet to the WAN port on your router. Plug in the power cord. The router will start up and attempt to connect to the internet. While the router starts up, log into your Digi Remote Manager account. If you do not have an account, you can sign up for a free trial by navigating to www.digi.com and clicking on Digi Remote Manager under the IoT Products and Services menu. Once you are logged in, select Getting Started from the drop-down menu associated with your username. This is where you can use the extra label that was provided in the box with your router. Click the button to open your camera and scan the QR code on the label. This will populate the device registration form with the device ID and password that is unique to that device. You may enter a name for your device if you wish. That part is optional. You can always enter a name later if you would like. Allow a minute for your router to connect. Once your router connects, go to the next step where Remote Manager will check to see if the router is running the latest firmware. If not, it will provide an option for you to update it. If it is already up to date, simply move to the next step. Click Done. You are now on the Device Details screen. This is the central point of control at the individual device level. Anything you need to access regarding this specific device can be found here. You'll notice that the device is connected via cellular. If you used an Ethernet port to connect your router, it would show that it is connected via Ethernet. If your SIM was configured for a custom private APN, you may need to configure the APN in order for the cellular connection to be established. To do that, navigate to the APN list under the Settings menu. That's it! Your cellular router is now set up and ready for use. Check back for more videos on how to use Digi Remote Manager to perform more complex tasks. Thanks for watching.